Do you have a favorite letter of St. Paul's or a favorite chapter in his writings? I have many, but chapter 7 from his letter to the Romans is up there among my favorites. Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and the reason I like this chapter is because in it, St. Paul reveals that even though he had met Jesus on the road to Damascus and had a profound conversion experience, he still struggled. He makes it clear that he hadn't become perfect with words like these, I do not do the good I want, but I do the evil I do not want. Miserable one that I am, who will deliver me from this mortal body? Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. We don't know the particular temptations that St. Paul fought against, but in another letter of his, his second one to the Corinthians in chapter 12, he refers to a thorn in the flesh or an angel of Satan that beat him. Whatever the temptation or weakness was, St. Paul didn't like it one bit and he turned to prayer asking God three times to take it away. Did God answer his prayer? Well, yes, but not in the way he'd hoped. God said no. God told Paul that if he didn't have this particular weakness or temptation, he would become too proud and would end up relying on himself rather than on God's grace. St. Paul writes that the Lord said to him, my grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. Power is made perfect in weakness? Tell that to the front line of the Green Bay Packers. According to the ways of the world, power is made perfect with more power, not weakness. But God's ways are different. For God saved the world through the weakness of Jesus on the cross, which was a power greater than all human power. It was the power of love, which overcame sin and death through suffering and death. Can you join your struggles and sufferings to the cross today? And in that way, let his power work in you and through you?